Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I am your guru and in this video I am going to tell you about a new mirror chart. See this is the new mirror chart and this was the earlier version of our old stacked bar chart. Now if you see we are comparing the performances of Tom and Jerry <laughs> for the month of January till December and these are their sales data. Alright. Now earlier we could have shown it like this or a regular column chart correct but now we can show this data like this this seems more meaningful you can compare it easily and looks better also correct so in this video I'm going to tell you how to create such a mirror chart all right make sense let me delete this and let me delete this also and let me delete this also all right now to create a mirror chart what you have to do is you have to create a copy of your data like this is your original data right you have to create a copy of it like I have done over here and for one of the persons you have to put minus symbols in front of it like this I'm going to paste it over here so what I have done is that I have gone ahead and inserted a minus symbol over here very simply like I'll click over here and I'll insert a minus symbol I'll click over here I'll insert a minus symbol like this all right in case you have large data you can do it with concatenate formula also all right that's not a big deal now once you have done this then all you have to do is select this data go to insert go to your charts and go to 2d stacked bar chart and your chart is almost ready now there are certain changes that we need to do we will do them now so basically your chart is ready now I'll remove this title all right I'll remove these numbers now if you see a faint outline of November December January I will click on them and press delete so that is gone all right I'll remove these lines by clicking on any of the lines and pressing delete all right now I need to show these numbers so I'll click over here all right click on this plus symbol and in the data labels I'll click over here and inside base like this same I'll do for this like this all right now now I'm going to click over here I'm going to double click over here which will open the format data point and I'll remove the gap width all right I'll close this I'll click over here any of these go to design sorry I'll go to format and in the shape out fill out will choose white over here I'll click now and I'll click on shape outline and choose white color so you can see this now the issue is with the numbers over here you see 228 over here you see 252 we don't want that correct so to correct that we will have to do some formatting now to remove these negatives I'll click on the numbers anywhere and my format data label section will open I'll click on numbers over here I'll choose the category as numbers decimal places I'll make as zero and in the negative number section I'll choose this red color option and over here where it says format code instead of red I will write black I will click on add and this problem is also solved correct I will now make this bold make this bold also and my chart is ready you can click on the chart go to design and format and give it any other kind of formatting that you wish totally up to you but this is the best way to go about it you can of course add a chart title and all so in case you want to do that you can go to add chart element and from here you can do a chart title anything 
you have all these options you have quick layout options also you can change the colors in case you want see so this is how we create a mirror chart well i hope you like this video do share it with people and if you have not subscribed to the channel then please do and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much well there are certain important links in the description i hope they might help you in downloading this file from my website so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning